Hi, and welcome to another session on navigating CalAg permits. Today we will be learning how to enter a Structural Monthly Summary Pesticide Use Report, otherwise known as MSPUR. From the home page, you will see the heading MSPUR. Click on the link titled Enter a New Structural Monthly Summary Report. You'll want to start by filling in the first orange box with your operator license number. We used our fictitious name, Friday Farms. Remember to select from the drop-down menu. This will automatically fill in your operator name, address, phone, license number, and county. Enter your Structural Pest Control Board or SPCB stamp number in this field. Remember this is an official record which can be audited by the Structural Pest Control Board. Next, let's fill in the month and year we did our applications. We did ours September 2012. Notice the date and the SBC stamp number are automatically entered on the form. Under Product and Manufacturer, we use DITRAC All Weather Blocks. You can start the search by typing in the first few letters. Narrow it down then by picking the correct EPA number. Ours is 12455-80-AA. Next, we will enter the quantity used. We used 28 and picking from the drop-down menu, ounces. We did three applications. Next, we will need to fill in commodity treated. Choose your appropriate commodity. We will use the code 10-0 Structural Pest Control. Pick the code from the drop-down menu. Once all the required information has been filled in, you need to save each line by clicking on the white Save Line button. If the line was not filled out completely or it has obvious errors, an error message will pop up. Always follow the prompts and correct mistakes before saving a line. Save lines will appear in the lower green area. From there, the line can be edited or deleted before the report is submitted. Each time you click Save Line button, the program tries to help by beginning to fill out a new line for you. Once you have filled out and saved every line of the report, click Clear Line to clear this information. Be sure to include your name and date of submission. If you are not finished with the report and want to continue working on it at a later time, click Save Draft. Remember, however, this does not submit the report to the county. You will have to go back and do that later. If you hit the Cancel button, this will erase all the information that you just previously entered. Once all of the lines have been correctly added to the form and you are ready to send the completed report, click Submit Report. The report will also be automatically saved and available for you to review at any time. After you hit the Submit Report button, scroll to the top of the page to check the report submittal status of your MSPUR. R says, OK, submitted to county, date and time. If you want to print a copy, hit the print button. If you use the same products regularly, the copy and edit button will allow you to use this MSPUR as a template for future reports. You will still have to enter month and year and number of applications. You can hit the return to PUR list to see reports submitted under your username. Once again, thanks for joining us for another session of Navigating CalAg Permits.